Viva la revolucion! Down with oppressively bad search results. It's time for a revolution! Yes, but not a political or social revolution. No, a machine revolution! Yes, a revolution of machine learning in search. I'm Mark Trappigan, and in this episode of Here's Why, I'm going to ask Stone Temple Consulting CEO Eric Enga to tell us why machine learning is such a revolution and what it means to the future of search. Once more, into the breach! So Eric, before we dig into what machine learning is and how it will affect search and SEO, you told me that you've gone extra deep into this topic. Tell our viewers about that. Sure. When I realized just how big machine learning is becoming for Google and others, I decided I needed to know it from the inside out literally. <laughs> so I enrolled in a university level course in machine learning and went on to start writing my own machine learning programs. One of those is actually included in the article I wrote for the Moz blog. Okay, yeah, that's sure going deep. Uh, speaking of your Moz article, which our viewers can see at the URL on their screen right now, you do a really thorough job of explaining what machine learning is and how it will impact SEO. Now, can you summarize that for those viewing today? Uh, sure. Now, happy to do that. At a simple level, machine learning is a class of algorithms that enable computers to learn from a feedback loop of information. The computers then, in a sense, alter their own programming in response to what they learn. So what's an example of how that could be put to use? Well, one of the first applications that I learned about came out in an interview I did with Google's Peter Norvig back in 2011. Peter told me that when Google wanted to build Google Translate, they found examples of material on the web already translated into various languages, fed that into a machine learning algorithm, and let the machine figure out the principles of translations between the various languages. <laughs> wow, that sounds incredibly complex. It, it was, but now in 2016, Google and other companies such as Apple, Microsoft, and Facebook are using machine learning for all kinds of applications. And you mentioned before that you created your own machine learning based program. Uh, tell us about that. Well, yes, I, I use what I learned in the course by Andrew Ng, I hope I pronounced that right, of Stanford University. And I use data from our own study of what causes engagement on Twitter combined with social authority metric from Moz's follower wonk tool to build the Twitter engagement predictor. Given the follower wonk social authority of the tweeter and how many of the various features she or he has used in the tweet, things such as images and like, the program predicts the probability of the tweet getting a retweet. So you can try it out for yourself at the URL on your screen now. And folks can get a lot more detail on how machine learning works and other applications at your Moz post. We'll show a link for that again at the end of the episode. Now let's move on to how machine learning is affecting SEO. Well, I think a prime concern right now at Google is the quality of search results. Sure. By that, I mean when a user clicks through to a site from a Google result, how good and how satisfying is that result? Does it quickly and effectively give the user what he or she was looking for? Does it anticipate other related needs the user might have? Does it deliver all of that in a fast and easy to understand manner? Of course, quality of results has always been important to Google. What's different now is that I think they are using machine learning in things like the Penguin and Panda updates, as well as other search quality algorithms, to be able to better than ever really tell if a human would think a web page is the best possible result for their query. And the implications of that for anyone doing site SEO should be obvious, I would hope. Indeed. Now, more than ever, you've got to be focused on user intent, related intentions the user might have, and identifying gaps in your content and how your quality compares to your competitors for the same query, and how you're measuring and iterating page improvements for the future. Well, thanks, Eric. There is a lot more, and I mean a lot more, about how machine learning works and the practical implications for our SEO at your Moz article. Now, find that at the URL on your screen now. The video you just watched is just one of over 50 in our Here's Why series. Our Here's Why videos really are a training course in the fundamentals of SEO content marketing and social media marketing that you can 
access for free. So check out all of our Here's Why videos at the URL on your screen now. And while you're on that page, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll get notified of all our future videos. We publish a new Here's Why video every Monday. So please join us again next time to learn the why behind the what of digital marketing.